Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You know, sometimes the best cooking is no cooking at all. So tonight we're gonna to have a little bit of fun. We're gonna expand on the idea of a charcuterie board and include a lot of other items so that this will be an entire meal. We can sit outside, enjoy a glass of wine and just pick away through the evening and have great conversation. So when you're putting together a board, there's a, you know, a few things you wanna consider. One is, you want to get a wide variety of um, flavors and different things to stimulate your taste buds. So let's talk about a few of the components that you're, you're going to want to uh, add together. And of course, this is all up to your own taste. So I'm going to show you things that I enjoy and you can certainly just include the items that, uh, that you find enjoyable. So you're going to want some kind of a um, breads or crackers to combine everything with. I'm going to use some baguettes. I'm going to slice them up. Uh, sometimes I will toast them and even make them into a garlic toast before I put them on. I'm going to add some fruits. We've got a pineapple, some grapes. Nuts always go well. We've got some pistachios, which will get some nice saltiness. Uh, we've got some almonds, uh, fresh raspberries. And then for meats, we're going to use an assortment. I've got a few different kinds of salamis, a couple of hard sausages, a bit of pate, and a little bit of kubasa. Really enjoy um, those Ukrainian flavors, and then a variety of cheeses. So I've got some smoked uh, gouda, uh, I've got some brie, uh, goat cheese with a little bit of cranberry around it. This is a must on any, on any plate that I'm gonna do. Roasting garlic ahead of time, uh, and this is just done in tin foil in the oven for about an hour, a little bit of olive oil over top. This is wonderful, you just pull a little bit of that out, it gives you great flavor. Uh, some olives, uh, some pickles, and a bit of antipasto on the side. I'm gonna get things sliced up. I'm gonna arrange them onto a platter. I'm gonna stick the platter in the fridge because nothing here has to be kept warm. And you could do this the morning before you went off to work or earlier in the day and just keep it somewhere cool and then it's ready to go. You can sit back, you can relax. All of your cleanup is done. You've got one platter to deal with. And if you want to really keep things simple, keep a bunch of small uh, paper plates out and uh, you can get rid of all your dishwashing. Well, that was quick and easy. This tray didn't take more than about 20 minutes to completely put together. That's slicing it up, arranging it. I'm not the fanciest person in the world when it comes to arranging, but there is a ton of great flavors and diverse flavors to enjoy this evening. So it's gonna go into the fridge and uh, we'll pull it out uh, when it's time to sit back with a glass of wine and enjoy. Cooking doesn't always have to involve cooking. It can simply be uh, arranging, combining some stuff, and sometimes the best meals are just the ones where you can pick away and choose what you like. And this is a great way to experiment with some new flavors or some different items because you can, you can try a little bit here, you can try a little bit there, and it makes for great conversation. So thanks again for joining me in the kitchen, and I'll look forward to uh, seeing you as the weather continues to warm up. Stay safe and uh, keep well.